We are with a company from Padua whose presence at these fair has been historical and continues to expand. We are with the CEO of Unicom for the company that manufactures machines that produce energy from solid biomass. You live with the philosophy of recycling waste. Yes, our slogan is Waste Ransom. This means that our clients entrust us with what for them is agricultural waste, and from this waste we produce energy. This energy can be either thermal or electrical. Until recently, what was a corporate cost linked to the difficulty in disposal, today can be used to save money when compared to other, more traditional means. It is all waste which comes from agriculture or from activities related to the agricultural world or the food industry. Specifically, what is it? The most common type of waste are wood chips. So, the material that comes from the cleaning and maintenance of forests. As well as waste coming from the production of wood, like sawdust, wood chips and bark. Then there is the world of pruning, so the waste that comes from the maintenance of greenery. The focus of our company is not to make power plants where the biomass is imported from other places, but is to value what the land produces. There is a thermal division where we do boilers, all industrial boilers. We work in the industrial sector and not the private sector. In this division, we make hot water or steam boilers where the energy produced is used for heating or for a production process. The other division is the division of cogeneration, in which, in addition to producing heat, we also produce electric current. We do about 40% of our sales in the Italian market and the remainder in countries abroad. We have installed more than 3,000 installations in 115 countries. I think these are the updated statistics. Each of these countries has a biomass produced locally, which is different from the others. So the added value of our company is to be able to extract value from all of these types of waste. Let's go together to discover the latest product presented at Progetto Fuoco. Let's talk about the thermal division. We have brought with us two boilers. This one behind me is an EOS 60. It is a 600 kilowatt boiler. The distinctive feature of this machine is that it allows for the recovery of biomasses of low value such as hulls, corn stalks and straw. From an energy standpoint, these are all products which are difficult to obtain value from. It has been technically developed with a movable grill and a humidity chamber, which are essential for the recovery of these products. This is the model which has been most installed in Italy in recent years. This is a new model that we have brought to this year's fair. It is an Atom 20, a 200 kilowatt machine and therefore for smaller users like a small greenhouse, a small block of flats, even a house or hotel. The distinctive feature of this machine is a high level of efficiency. It is a machine that is certified to the most stringent European standards, which allows for access to incentives both in Italy and abroad. Here we are at the part of the stand with the cogeneration plants. We chose to make models of our already existing plants. This is a plant we built in Tuscany. It is a company which produces 165 kilowatts that is then distributed. It is a company that makes storage for paint and chemicals, so heat is used to keep a constant indoor temperature. The second plant is a plant in Calabria that produces and then distributes 200 kilowatts. The thermal power that is produced is the thermal power you need to heat a farm and farm related activities. This plant is a bit bigger, however still small and so it is called mini cogeneration because it is only 300 kilowatts. It is a plant that we are building at Lake Garda. In this case our client is the local council. The heat energy produced by this plant is used for powering a pellet factory. The client downstream of this plant has built a factory to produce pellets and so also recovers the biomass produced from the forests. This is the model of a plant that we have actually built in 26 different sites in Italy. It is a plant which is a little bit bigger because it produces and distributes 1 megawatt. It was built in Italy in the Milan area that heats blocks of apartments. The same has also been installed in Puglia. However, in this case, the biomass comes from the pruning of olive trees and the heat is used for drying the plants. There are also four in Piedmont. One is interesting because hot water produced is used to power a chocolate factory. 
There is another plant in the Cremona area, where in this case, in the Sospiro area, the hot water is used to heat a nursing home. It was built in Casa Maggiore to power and heat a hospital. We have hired, in the last three years, 15 figures, mainly engineers and technicians. We look for people who show a strong connection to our project. If there is anybody, possibly young, with a desire to travel and skin involved in a different industry, our doors are open. And for potential new clients, how may they contact you? Our contact details are on the website. We recommend that clients come to us in, let's say, the brainstorming stages of a new venture, because those are the stages where the important decisions are made. We like clients to see us as a partner in the development of the new venture. Clients often come to us when they've already lost two, three, four months, if not years, in making technological choices that later turn out to be wrong. We are from the industry and we know it well, so we gladly accompany you in the various stages that range from finance approval to incentives to technological choice to maintenance and everything you may need to build a plant that has a useful life of more than 20 years.